Hey guys, Heather at Divine Guidance Tarot, back at you with another pick a deck. Yay! I haven't done one of these in a hell of a long time. So, we're doing today, what do your spirit guides want you to know? And I have four piles here, but first my spiel. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, please don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me at divine, G-U-U-D-A-N-C-E, tarot by heather at gmail.com, and we will get you set up. Um, so uh, I picked one card from every deck I own. See? Look at that. Every fucking deck I own, I picked one card. And we're going to see what your spirit guides want you to know. So let's get to picking our decks. Oops, I guess I took a picture of myself. I was trying to rotate the camera. I guess I'll rotate it like this. So we have one, two, three, and four. Got your pile? All right, let's get started. Ah! Or I could just drop my camera everywhere. Like, I don't fucking know. All right, pile one. I'm gonna move these out of the way, the other piles. Yeah, it was like that. Okay. So you picked this stone. <laughs> Let's see what your spirit guides want you to know. So. We have victimhood. With hubris. Six of cups in reverse. Knight of swords. The Page of Wands in Reverse. Two of Pentacles in Reverse. Number 35, or the Tower. The Nine of Beetles. Four of Pentacles. Talk to us. We are still listening. Three of Cups. Honesty is essential. Helpful person. Rebel because fuck it. Strength. And oneness is my true nature. All right, so let's see what we've got going on for you, what your spirit guides want you to know. So first off, I feel like you guys are someone who is very carefree and loving, someone who's very impulsive, someone who, um, but also someone who likes to play the victim. I feel as though you guys are kind of a, someone who, when the littlest thing happens, you feel like it's the end of the world. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys wear a mask of victimhood. You wear a mask of, you wear a mask of, oh, someone hurt me, so I'm gonna go around and act hurt because it gives you a sense of entitlement. 
It gives you sympathy. You're a sympathy seeker. Okay. I also get that you guys might have addiction issues and you like to rebel. But at your core, you're a helpful person. I feel as though you are the type of person that helps and helps and helps and helps and gives and gives and gives and gives, and gives but does so in a manner that you expect something out of it. You're the type of person that if you help someone, you're expecting that person to help you back or be like eternal, eternally grateful. It's like, and when they aren't, you go around and bitch about someone that you helped. But I helped them and now look how they're treating me. Like that, because you didn't help out of love. You helped out of greed, out of expecting to get something out of it. You weren't truly giving in order to just give. Okay, I feel like what your spirit guides want you to know is that you're not listening to them, okay? With this talk to us, we're still listening card. You're not listening to what your spirit guides want to tell you, okay? Because you are a helpful person and someone wants to help you. Think of whom it might be and initiate contact. That's them. They want to help you. Your spirit guides want to help you. So talk to them. They're listening. And honesty is essential. Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. Okay? You're not being honest with yourself. You're not being honest with your spirit guides. Oneness is my true nature. Okay? Instead, you're rebelling. You're partying. You're, you know, in a demonic sort of an energy. And you're getting tower moments. Because you can't balance your situation out because you're constantly playing the victim. Okay? And you're constantly being hubris about it, which is like self-entitled. Self-entitlement, um, you know, like mm, that sort of an energy. Um, you also have the Six of Cups in reverse. See, not helping, not a true helper. Okay, you were meant to be a true helper. You were meant to help people. Okay, and you will get abundance when you do so. But when you give to people just so that they'll give back to you, that's, that's selfish, okay? That's not a strength. That's a weakness. So you guys need to get in touch with your spirit guides. Get in touch with yourself. Figure out a way to not portray yourself as a victim. To learn your lessons. To give in a nice, helpful manner. And not expect anything in return. When you do that, you'll get your abundance. When you actually give in a manner without expecting to receive anything back, that's when you'll get everything back. All right. So that's what I have for pile one. All right, pile two was the green one. Pile two was the green one. So if you picked this one. You got Birds are messengers we use to connect with you. With the Eight of Pentacles. With look to your inner strength. With discernment. With shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. When I'm in alignment, when I am in alignment with love of the, with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disturbed. Three of cups. Positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. Protection. Eight of wands. 
the snake. Justice in reverse. Queen of Swords. Eight of Wands in reverse. Got that twice. One separate one's in reverse. Queen of Swords. I swear to God, guys. I don't... I didn't look at these cards. I just dealt them. Two of Pentacles in reverse. With the Emperor. Okay, so with this look to your inner strength card and this discernment card, this is telling me that you are a highly intuitive person. You have extreme intuition, okay? But I also get that you're the kind of person that wants to protect people from themselves. You're someone who takes it upon yourself, okay, to take other people's tower moments, to take other people's karma, okay? You take, you take other people's negative energy and transmute it into positive. You take it upon yourself. I get that you're a very logical person, okay? You're a very strong person. I'm sensing a really masculine sort of an energy here, okay? But you're also someone who feels ashamed when you can't help someone. You have a deep sense of shame when you can't help someone, when, when you can't take that person's pain away, you feel like you failed. Okay, so I feel like what your spirit guides want you to know is that you need to start thinking about who you're helping. You need to be more discerning about who you help, whose energy you take into your energetic field. Okay? Don't take responsibility for other people's energy. You are responsible for your own energy. And yes, you can give other people positive energy, okay? But not so much that it knocks you out of your own alignment. When I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted, okay? You let your own world go into chaos because you're accepting negative energy from other people and trying to change it into positive. You're very happy-go-lucky. You're very strong. You're very positive. You're very hardworking. And you work very hard to help others. You are a helper. You are a healer. But instead of using universal energy, you're using your own and you're burning yourself out. Okay, so instead of taking the energy from the universe down and channeling it out, okay, you're taking your own personal energy and channeling it out. And it's draining you. Okay, it's draining you. I also feel like you have um, a hard time communicating when you're tired. Or a hard time communicating when you, um, don't, when you don't have the energy to help somebody. I feel like your spirit guides are telling you you need to rest right now. This is supposed to be a time of resting, okay? You don't need to take the entire world on your shoulders. That's not your responsibility. Your responsibility is to get your own shit in order, your own balance, your own chakras aligned, your, and not feel guilty about being selfish because being selfish is not a bad thing, okay? You need to take the energy that you were giving to other people and keep it for yourself for right now. Keep your own energy in your own energy field, okay? You don't need to be doing any more work. You've worked so hard already, it's time to rest, okay? Because if you don't, you're just going to get a tower moment. You're just going to let a snake in your nest and eat your baby birds. you got to be the mama bird, okay? And protect your eggs, okay? Because otherwise, the snake's going to climb up the tree and eat your baby birds. Eat what you've created. You've created these eggs, right? And they haven't hatched yet. They haven't come to fruition yet. They, you haven't gotten your abundance yet. And it's because you keep letting snakes in to eat your eggs. You lay an egg and instead of keeping it for yourself, you're feeding the snake. Why the fuck are you feeding the snake your baby eggs? That's just retarded. There's, you know, Look at that card. 
She's having a fancy feast all by herself, right? Just all by herself. And in this card, all by himself. These cards, Queen of Swords twice with the Emperor, all by themselves, okay? This woman, all by herself. All by herself. All by herself. I don't know how could they could be more clear. You need to be alone right now, okay? The only card with more than one person in it is the protection. And that's her. And that's your protection. Spirit, your spirit guides are trying to protect you from negative energy, but they can't do that if you just keep allowing it in. Okay? So start protecting your energy. Stop trying to save the world. You're not God. You're not Superman. You're not Superwoman. Okay? And just rest. Take a break. Because you're entitled to it. So once you take a break and keep your energy to yourself and transmute your own negative shit in your life into something positive, that's when you'll get your abundance. Okay? All right. Number three, if you pick the blue. I'm going to get a drink first. <laughs> All right, if you pick the blue stone, we have figure shit out on your own. Be in the present and dream of the future. Soulmate relationship. Persuasion. Focus on the positives. You know there are many. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. The world. The four of cups in reverse. The three of swords. Knowledge. The Nine of Wands, the Fish, the Page of Swords, the Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles in Reverse, the Seven of Bees, hey! in reverse, and the Princess of Swords. Got the Page of Swords twice. Thing that's standing out to me here is the Soulmate Relationship card. New Romance with a Spiritual Basis is here for you now. And there's like a fucking infinity sign. Twin Flame. Okay, twin flame. So right now, okay, so right now I feel like you guys have a lot of things that are in your way of true knowledge. Right now you guys are focusing on negative things. You guys are focusing on pain, rejection, grief, guilt, okay? You guys are trying to force a relationship that cannot be forced. You guys are trying to fuck with divine timing. Okay? Oh, man, I just... You guys are so tense in your shoulders. Oh, you guys are so tense in your shoulders. Maybe you should go get a massage. <laughs> Someone in this pile <laughs> needs a massage. <laughs> um. All right, so... I feel like you guys are feeling rejected, beaten down. I feel like you guys have given so much energy to this twin flame path that you believe that you're on, okay? Um, 
the fish, riches. You guys are abundant. You guys are abundant on your own. You do not need whoever you're thinking of, okay? You have the knowledge. You have the knowledge. You're the keeper of the bees. Bees of knowledge, okay? But you just keep getting thumped. I feel as though you guys have, um, I feel like you guys have gone to reader after reader after reader after reader to try and figure out what the fuck this relationship is, what this connection is, is. and you've gotten several different responses, several different um, answers, and none of them were what you wanted to hear. None of them were what you wanted to hear. All of them were deceptive. Okay, all of them were meant to keep you off of your track of abundance. Okay? Figure shit out on your own. Okay? Figure shit out on your own and focus on the positives in your life, not the negatives. Okay? You guys are a really spiritual person. You guys are on a tw twin flame, higher soul eight mate path. Okay? And... <sighs> Focusing on the other person or the obstacles that are standing between you and this person that you believe is your twin flame is blocking your abundance. I feel as though some of you guys are trying to force a situation to go your way. You're using other people to make your person jealous. You're using sex to distract yourself. You're finding different partners that you feel will bring you happiness. But you need to be in the present and dream of the future. Be in the present and dream of the future. Be in the present, in the present, and dream of the future, okay? The future is not here. What do you want your future to look like? Do you want more lumps from the universe? Your spirit guides are trying to tell you that you don't have to persuade this person to be with you. This person will be with you in divine timing, whether it's in this lifetime or the next lifetime or the lifetime after that. It's a connection that's always there. It cannot be broken. It cannot be broken. But you guys don't believe that. You guys don't believe that this will actually manifest. And so you're blocking it because you don't actually believe that this could ever really happen because this person has hurt you so badly that you don't believe that they're ever coming back. But obstacles are just detours in the right direction. Anything that comes your way, everything that happens to you happens for a reason. Your world is a, is a reflection of your mind. When you believe you're poor, you're poor. When you believe you're, you're not connected to this person, you're not connected to this person. When you believe you don't, you're never going to be with this person, you're never going to be with this person. And that's just the way it works. You are the master of your own reality. What reality do you want to live in? Your spirit guides are telling you. You have the knowledge to get this relationship that you want, but you're not using it. Okay? You're using everybody else's knowledge. Instead of meditating and talking to your spirit guides and doing your spiritual work, you're sitting there watching pick a card videos or ordering readings from... You know, tarot reader after tarot reader after tarot reader trying to figure it out when you really should just be figuring it out on your own because you have all the knowledge you need. So I guess your message from your spirit guides is figure shit out on your own <laughs> and stop going to other people. Stop going to other people. Spend time with yourself. Spend time with your spirit guides. Spend time meditating. Spend time sleeping eating healthier, exercising, getting yourself ready for the relationship that you want to manifest. Build a healthy relationship with yourself first, and then your person will come. All right, if you chose this path. Let's see what your spirit guides have to say to you. Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some fucking alone time and you know why. Empowerment. 
ask for help. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself in the support you need. Ask for help. Seven of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Explore new ventures. Move forward with confidence. We are with you. Happiness is my birthright. Nine of Wands or Nine of Moths. The Sun in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse. The number 45. Justice. King of Wands. Page of Cups. Justice. Got that twice. Authenticity. Appearance. I feel like a lot of you are depressed right now. A lot of you are depressed right now. You don't think you deserve to be happy. Okay, you're a natural born leader. Okay, you have a power inside of you to lead people. But you don't communicate it very well. Okay, you could be successful in business. You could be successful in life. But you're not authentic to yourself. Instead, you're focused more on what other people think about you. Your focus is you, you, you're wearing a mask because you're scared of what other people will think about you. Other people's judgments. Other people. You're scared that other people are going to reject you. You feel alone. You feel like you're never going to get any love. Okay, you, you're in hermit mode. You're not talking to anybody. You're tired. You want a new adventure. You want a new life. I feel like you don't want to be in your life anymore. I feel like if you guys are suicidal, you guys need to get help. I feel a very, very suicidal, depressive vibe from this pile. Okay? Don't feel that way. You are more powerful than you realize. It's safe for you to be powerful. It is safe for you to stand in your power. It is safe for you to tell other people how you feel. It is safe for you to tell other people when they make you sad or they make you mad or they make you happy or loved. It is okay to tell people how you feel. You do not need to hold on to your feelings for fear that other people aren't going to accept you. Who cares if they accept you or not? Happiness is your birthright. Happiness is your birthright. Okay, you got that right next to the sun in reverse. That tells me you're wanting to be happy. You want to be happy. You want to be the king of wands. You want to be a natural born leader full of passion and energy and excitement. You want to start a new business. You have dreams. You have goals. You have ambitions. But you're letting things stand in your way. I feel like one of your spirit guides might be Athena. She was the goddess of war, right? She was also the goddess of wisdom. She popped right out of Zeus's head, fully grown. Right? Okay? Be your authentic self. Be your authentic self. Who are you on, your, uh, on the inside, at your core? Be your authentic self. Okay? Don't worry so much about your appearance, how you appear to other people, because it doesn't matter. Be authentic. Don't be scared of other people's rejection. Don't be scared of other people's feelings. Okay? Don't be afraid to communicate your feelings. Your spirit guides want you to be open and honest with your feelings. And when you start to open up and tell people how you feel, how you actually truly feel, you'll get your abundance. Okay? I know that was kind of quick, but that was kind of a straight to the point fucking message, I guess. All right, guys, that's it. If this resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, uh, hit the bell. If it didn't, please find a YouTube reader that can help you. 
Um, and if you'd like a personal reading, contact me at divine, G-U-U-D-A-N-C-E tarot by heather at gmail.com and we will get you set up. All right, guys, that's it. Love and light.